Alchemy of Stephen School. Do you see what I see? I felt like singing. You see here we have two things together. Like a sun and a moon. And a sun and a moon. And I figured, in my own opinion, they should not be mixed. However, in this experiment, two substances are mixed. Why? Because I like to see the results of the experiments tried in different ways. Because to me, alchemy is a learning experience. We have something down here that kind of looks like a gold colored salt. We also have a white material that's been mixed with it. So, one of these days I'm going to get around to redoing this experiment without the two being mixed. I say mixed we may not really be uniting they may just be in the container together and if they would mix they should be mixed so is this the transmutation powder of alchemy is this the projection powder is this the one that works Well, we're going to be looking into that. I do find it interesting that it has the appearance of a gold colored salt. I find that interesting. Yes. Let's dump some out. On this paper here. One theory I've had is that uh, when when nature makes gold. In the Earth's crust, sometimes it's found in uh, reciated quartz, cracked quartz. And so, according to alchemy research, the white powder is supposed to make silver, the darker powder is supposed to make gold. I wonder what the results would be if they're mixed. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but I was just wondering if in heat, if they would somehow make gold and quartz. But that's probably not the case. It is a possibility, I would think, but who knows? Because the white powder is supposed to make silver. But it is a test that perhaps I can get to. I'm gonna start by Swirling this around a bit to see if we notice anything. I'm trying to stay in the camera. I do notice something. The powder seems to be sticking to the mercury.
I know in the old alchemical manuscripts, um, such as uh, the writings of Nicholas Quammel, he spoke about casting uh, one of his substances upon quicksilver smoking. And of course, with all the code words used in alchemy by the old alchemists, it can be difficult to take that at face value. However, if it were taken at face value, it's not an experiment that I would want to try. Heating, heating substances can be a dangerous thing if you, you know, if you take liquid mercury, for example, I don't know what would happen if it was heated. I know it would distill, sure, but it would also vaporize. Mercury can vaporize at room temperature. Vapors are not good. Adding a lot of heat, who knows what would happen. I would think that would be much too dangerous. So it could be that Flamel was speaking about some secret code word. Look at that powder. Let's take a look at that gold colored powder. Does it look like, what does it look like to you? Does it look like gold? Now I turn the flash on, a little more light. It kind of does look like a gold looking powder. It's dimmed a bit by the white, the white powder that was mixed with it. Therefore, if I make a new batch without the white added to it, it should have a, a much more pronounced appearance, I would think. I'm going to uh, add a bit more. I think I'll unzoom the camera so we can try to stay in the view here. Okay, now, here we have some of this material. And I'm going to add it in there. Get some more. Will the gold powder make gold? This is but one of the, this is but one test. I would think it might be, um, interesting to prepare it for a transmutation experiment and then cast it upon molten metal and see what effects that might have. I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to fold it. Creating a funnel. And we're going to put this here and use it just to jump that in there. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, now, top goes back on. Alchemy of Stephen's School. Remember, do not try this at home. Not for consumption. Oh, oh my, I see something, I see something that appears quite awesome. Let me see if I can get a better look here. Perhaps it was just a glint of lighting. I saw the, I thought I saw the glint of gold. I'm seeing some interesting color. Does it look like the glint of gold? Something's going on. There's a change occurring that wasn't going on before. Something's happening. What colors do you see? You might have better vision than I do. Do you think the reaction is water? Perhaps if it was underwater, water creating a seal. The old alchemy manuscripts, the, when they talked about the alchemist composing the egg, they normally mention three ingredients, one being a liquid or water. Perhaps there's someone out there that does metallurgy that would like to do some testing on on this material in this uh, flask here in this beaker someone that does like smelting metals to purify them knocking off the slag and then um, amalgamation of metals someone knowledgeable about the oxidation and heat and all that smelting metals and amalgamating them in the crucible I know what I know. Perhaps that would create a good team for testing purposes. Let me know what you think in the comments. I know there's some big YouTubers out there that are heavy into metallurgy. They have forges and stuff. Let's take a look at this again. So this experiment is sealed up and it's just gonna have to sit for some time. Sit for some time. And see what it does. This is Alchemy of Steven's School. Subscribe for updates. 
Look up the Stephen School Alchemy Forum on Patreon for a behind-the-scenes look at my alchemy experiments. Do not try this at home, not for consumption. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.